This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hi everyone, I'm Connie Carmichael and welcome back to Oshkosh Today. On today's Focus on Health, heart problems don't mean you have to travel out of Oshkosh for medical assistance. It's a common myth held by many people. But as you'll find out, there's quality heart care right here in Oshkosh. Today we are joined by Dr. Donald McSwain, part of the new cardiology team here at Aurora Medical Center. We are in the cath lab, the part of the hospital where Dr. McSwain performs heart procedures. Dr. McSwain, thank you so much for joining us here today. Could you tell us a little bit about um, you as a cardiologist and the cardiology group here at Aurora? Well, sure. It's very nice of you to have me today. Um, my personal training, I did uh, medical school and my internal medicine training at the University of Kansas, a uh, cardiology fellowship at the University of Minnesota, and then an additional interventional cardiology year uh, at the Mid-America Heart Institute. And our program here is one that we can do most of uh, all of cardiology needs for folks in the, in the Oshkosh area. Uh, this, of course, is the cardiac catheterization lab where we do heart catheterizations. We can do uh, all the regular balloon and angioplasty procedures, stents, intravascular ultrasound, angiomax, and all the different types of medications, as well as pacemakers. And the program now is we're up and running. Um, we have 24-hour coverage now every day a week, so uh, we're pretty well covered now as far as uh, general cardiology needs and interventional cardiology needs. Okay, and tell us a little bit, what is what exactly is interventional cardiology? Explain some of the procedures you perform. Well, interventional cardiology is generally the, the use of balloons and stents to open narrow blood vessels, generally in the heart, and it can also be done in other parts of the body, and this is one of the labs where we do it in. And it's where usually a little a small catheter is threaded up through a, a artery in the leg, uh, and uh, if we find narrowings after diagnostic catheterization, we can repair them uh, with balloons and more, more recently and more usually now balloon and stents. Uh, we can do all that here. Uh, the only thing we don't do here at this point is uh, bypass surgeries. Okay, and then like as far as like advanced treatment, um, where do they go after that? Well, if they need if patients need bypass surgeries or certain types of um, more uh, kind of uh, invasive or other things that might involve the surgeons, they're done at St. Luke's down in uh, Milwaukee. Okay, okay. And for our viewers and listeners out there, tell us a little bit, what is heart disease? Well, heart disease covers a wide spectrum of things, but what we generally think about when we talk about heart disease is narrowings in the blood vessels of the heart. Um, the narrowings come up over the years. Um, when they get to certain points of narrowing, they can, be, they can cause chest pain, they can cause heart irregularities, and of course what everybody worries about is causing a heart attack. Sure. And then um, can you tell us a little bit about what the three main risk factors are? The main risk factors have stayed the same for, for years and years and years, and basically they're uh, smoking, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Uh, the, they're, they're the major risk factors. They work either individually or together to raise the patient's uh, risk of having coronary disease. And, of course, if you don't have the risk factors, you, it doesn't mean you won't have the disease, but it means your risks are much lower that way. Okay. And then out of those three, um, what is the main risk factor? Well, the main risk factor, it kind of covers all of them. They all work together. The, the, the area now that's getting more interesting or more concerning is on those three main risk factors, they're all decreasing in prevalence and the, the curves as far as lowering heart disease are all going the right way, except more recently, the curves are starting to kind of level out and the improvements aren't as great. And the reason for that appears to be obesity and the diabetes that comes from obesity. Um, diabetes is a risk factor for coronary disease. Uh, it has multiple effects throughout your body. And unfortunately, the only risk factor that's not improving in the country or in Wisconsin, for that matter, is people, who are, people and children are too obese and it's leading to diabetes, which leads to much higher rates of heart disease. Oh, okay. I understand. Now tell us a little bit how we can prevent heart disease. Well, the best way to prevent heart disease is, is simply controlling your risk factors. Um, obviously, you shouldn't smoke. Um, it's easy to say, hard to do, but there are new medications. And there are also some clinics, uh, both through the hospital and other places, that can help as far as smoking. Um, high blood pressure is something we can control relatively easily. The problem with high blood pressure is a lot of people don't know they have it. So that's why it's important to get your blood pressure checked, have visits with your health providers, and make sure that your blood pressure is under good control. 
High cholesterol is kind of the same way. Uh, you don't know if you have high cholesterol unless you get it checked. Uh, it's important to get not just the total cholesterol, but the breakdown cholesterol, the good cholesterol and the bad cholesterol. And again, cholesterol, once we know you have it, it's relatively easy to control with, um, with both sometimes just with diet and sometimes with medications. And then the other hard one is the obesity with the resulting diabetes. And as we all know, you know how we can try to help that, although that's harder too. Obviously, um, the whole country is having a, almost an epidemic of obesity, and, and that's something that everyone's very concerned about for the future. That's true. Get healthy and stay healthy. That's right. Uh, now, um, how does heart disease, or does heart disease, affect women uh, differently than men? Yes, it, it can. The interesting thing about women and heart disease is, in general, throughout their lives, women get more heart disease than men, although that's sort of people, that doesn't seem intuitive. What generally happens is women get heart disease later in life than men, maybe eight to ten years later in life. And the the symptoms patients sometimes have, as far as women having it, aren't always the typical chest pain. Sometimes it can be shortness of breath. Sometimes it can be you just can't do what you were able to do a few weeks ago, a few months ago. So women have to be extra careful, both because they get disease as much as men, although a little bit later in life, and their symptoms may not be the classical chest pain that we think of with heart disease. And when you're talking about chest pain, what should I do when I feel a chest pain? How do I know it's anything different than just heartburn or something? You don't always. And that's why if you have bad chest pain, frankly, the best thing to do is to get to the hospital or if it's really bad to call an ambulance and have the ambulance bring you over. Because lots of times you don't know. Sometimes gastrointestinal disease, can you get chest pain. You don't know which it is. Mm -hmm. And the key thing is to get into the hospital so we can check it out. If it's heart disease, we can take care of it. Obviously, if it's a heart attack, the... the the treatment now for heart attacks is bringing it to this lab or a lab like it and to use the balloon and stent procedures to open up blockages. And we have that available now 24 hours a day here. That's Even if it's not heart disease, lots of times you don't know, so you still need to get in and get checked. And if you are having more kind of a gradual increase in chest pain or shortness of breath, then you can see your doctors and do things like that. But if you get a really bad onset of chest pain, sort of out of the blue, and you're wondering what to do, Call the ambulance. Sounds like great advice. And, and of course, you should see your physician on your yearly checkup and everything sure. and check on those three risk factors and work on those as well. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. If you'd like more information on cardiology here at Aurora or the cardiology team, you can always call 303-8700 or you can log on to the web at www.aurorahealthcare.org. Thanks for joining us on this Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.